So we all know about the savings accounts out there for personal reasons, but what about the business savings accounts and the highest rates out there? That's why in this video, I'm going to talk about the best savings accounts for businesses that offer between 2.02% all the way down to 0.8%. Now it's not that high, I know for a fact, but it's definitely high enough to where you can actually fight inflation and save some money for your business without having to worry about not getting anything from your main bank like Taste, BOA, and all those fancy banks, okay? Now, if you guys don't know me, my name is Tony Bryson, I'm an accountant, and I upload videos every single day. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you get notified. On top of that, do me a favor, hit the like button, and here's a question for you guys, okay? What are you saving money for? Is it for a business expense? Is it for improvements? Or is it just for to have money on the side just in case anything happens? Or do you even have a business? Comment down below, let me know. And if you ask me, you know, anything above 1% is pretty solid. Now here's why. Because most of the businesses out there that offer, or banks out there that offer like 2%, well, most of the time they offer these rates just for promotions, and then once they have you in, they bait and switch you, and then boom, they're back to 1%. 0.05%, 0.01%, and then sometimes 0%. So that's why I want to make sure in this video I share with you guys the top five, but also the banks out there that actually, you know, have been consistent for a very long time. So without further ado, let's go into it. And the first one is actually Asus Bank. By the way, guys, I'm going from lowest to highest. And on top of that, I have the links for everything down below and also even the customer service number if you want to call them yourself right after this call. Well, I'm not really calling, but if I wanted to call, I would call, but maybe I should call. I don't know. But guys, basically, Asus Bank is offering 0.80%, which is not that high, not that low, but hey, it's like a business account, so it's kind of like more basic, more normal. But if you want 1.06%, which is pretty cool, I guess, well, all you have to do is have $24,000 in their account, which again... It's insane. It's way too high. But who am I to say anything about it? Again, Asus Bank has always been a bank for me that's like, okay, you guys are like gonna kind of like way too expensive for no reason. I don't get it, you know? And they're not competitive enough. So on top of that, if you want to open the account today, you would need a thousand dollars to start. And if you want to waive all the fees, you would need to have a balance, a daily balance of around like $2,500. And guess what? If you want to go premium and you want free checks in the 1.06%, well, you need to have a balance of around, a carry balance every single day, of around $5,000. That's more than Chase, more than BOA, more than Capital One, more than anyone out there. I don't know why. I guess they think they're cool, but there you go. On top of that, they'll give you FDIC insurance of up to $250,000, and they also give you six withdrawals per month, I'm assuming. And guess what? They have a lot of fees, okay? So I don't even recommend you call in, but if you want to call in and you want to open this account, just make sure you call in before you do anything because, again, they have a lot of fees when it comes to this entire account here. So, again, I'm just putting it out there so you guys know all the options, but this is not my favorite option by far. Links, numbers down below. Now, number two is actually Live Oak Bank. Now, this one is by far, by the way, it's number two, I know, you're probably saying, Tommy, it's not that high, blah, blah, blah. Well, in reality, I really like this one because, one, they seem to be pretty cool. There are no fees like crazy, and it's very, like, you know, for like, hey, here's our interest rate. There's no minimum balance. There are no fees, so I really like that. Very forward and very good company, if you ask me. Now, they will try to upsell you on other things, just so you guys know, but just say no, and that way you just keep the entire, like, business savings account, and that's about it. But they offer you 1.10%. Which again, is not that high, but guess what? You only need maybe like a dollar, five dollar deposit to start because all they want to do is confirm your bank information. So there you go. This bank has no monthly fees, no banking fees. And on top of that, it does have like the wire fees and all that stuff. But that's kind of like normal and standard for like, you know, business accounts because they do a lot of those. So in reality, this is only 1.10%, but it's pretty nice if you ask me. So I highly recommend you guys give them a call, ask them what's going on, and then see exactly if it's a good fit for you because again, 1.10%, not a lot, I get it, but there are no fees, I know like, oh, I have to have this, much, this amount of money here, or any of that stuff, it's kind of like, hey, you're in the bank, that's fine, you have 1.10% on whatever balance you have, and I really like that about this bank, very forward, very honest, very transparent, contact them if you're interested. Now, we have number three, it's actually NBKC Bank. Now, the first thing is this, they were offering 1.66%, but apparently I went to the website and there is no information on them whatsoever. So I'm going to have to call customer service right now and that's exactly what's going on with the accounts. Because again, guys, you know, this is what I'm saying. You know, sometimes the banks offer these 
promotional race and then boom they take it off they want you to call in so they can sell you something else so i'm gonna call in to find out but i'm not gonna let them tell me oh tell me you know you want to have this you want to have that no i'm going straight to the point what's going on tell me boom boom okay so let's call in right now hey how are you my name is on philip i'm just calling in today about the business savings accounts you guys have um but what kind of information are you looking for like the, in guess, like the, the what interest can I help answer? yeah like the interest rate you know like um is it is it like a promotional rate, like what's going on, like how much to start and all that fancy stuff, there are any fees, you know? General information. Um, so the, the, int the interest rate is the current rate on the account. Um, it's been that way for several months now. It's on an intro rate, but the rate is subject to change, so it just depends on if the bank makes the decision to change the rate or not. Okay. And what um, is the rate? As far as... I'm sorry. And what is the rate? This, 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 I don't. I don't see any information on the on the website. So I'm calling in like like what's the rate exactly? So the APY on balance is under a million dollars is one point six six percent. Okay, and balance is above a million dollars. How much? It is one point one six. One point one six. Okay, and are there fees with the accounts? No. The only time that you would be charged a fee is if you chose to send a wire transfer mm -hmm. or receive an international wire transfer. So okay. we charge for domestic wires five dollars. Okay. And international wires are five or forty five dollars to send and receive. Okay. And is there like a, a minimum balance that I need uh, like to um to have in the account to like waive anything? Uh, the no, we don't have any minimum balance charges or transaction fees of that nature. Yeah. Um, you do have to make a minimum $5 opening deposit wow, okay. within 20 days of opening the account. Mm -hmm. But it's your own money, and after that, as long as you keep at least a penny in the account, then it will stay open and active. Okay, and it's FDIC insured? Yes. Okay, awesome. So it sounds like it's 1.66 for any balances like below a million dollars. There are no fees with the account, just like the standard like wire transfers. And on top of that, you just need $5 just to get started, right? Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. I'll pass this on. Thank oh, you. Oh, you're welcome. Okay. Thanks. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. So this one is pretty awesome. Now, I'll be honest with you guys. I called in the first time. No one answered. I got a little mad, but I called in the second time. And they know each other by like a first name basis. That's pretty cool. Must be like a small branch. But the main thing is this, you know, um, pretty nice. 1.66. You don't need any crazy balance. You start with $5. So again, 1.66. Pretty good. I like it. So this one is definitely on my list. Now, let's go on to number four. Number four is actually first internet bank now don't tell me don't ask me hey Tommy was this really like the first internet bank I don't know bro but in reality they offer 2.02 percent which is pretty pretty high right so we're gonna call in right now instead of me telling you everything I want you guys to hear from the horse's mouth so let's call in right now to actually test customer service also and let's see exactly what's going on the reason I didn't call ASOS is because last time I called them back in the days and I did not enjoy my call okay customer service was not great and on top of that I have a whole bunch of fees with the accounts currently so I don't see the sense in trying the same thing twice when it didn't work the first time now here's the thing the reason I didn't call Live Oak is because Live Oak is very simple in what they do. Everything they do, they outlined it in their website. And the reason I called in MB, uh, what is it, like MBSK Bank, M MBKC Bank is because they didn't have all the information on the website. That's why I called them to confirm everything, okay? But now, let's go ahead and call in First Internet Bank. I never heard about this bank before, but apparently it's the first one. I'm kidding. I don't know if it's the first one. Let's call him right now. Hi, hello. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't hear you. It sounds a little low. How can I help you? Oh, awesome, awesome. Um, hey, my name is on Philip. I'm just calling in today for some information on the savings accounts that you guys have and some information on that, like the interest rate, are there any fees, like the opening balance and all that fancy stuff. Okay, have you visited the website to view? Yeah, I visited the website, but I, I got a little um, confused, so I'm just calling in to confirm any, everything with you on the information on it, if that's fine with you. Is this for a personal account or a business account? A business account. Okay, so what questions did you have? Um, like, what's the interest rate on it? The money market is at 2%, the regular savings is 1.15. Okay, so the money market account is 2%, and is there any different from a, a regular savings than a mark on a money market account? Just the balance that you have to maintain. Oh, the balance. And um, what's the difference in balances? Money market is 
money market requires a four thousand dollar average daily balance to avoid a fee. And their normal savings? One thousand. One thousand. And you said it's um two point zero two or two percent on the money market account? Two percent rate. The yield is two point zero two. Okay, awesome. And how much do I need to actually get started? Like to open the you account? You open it with $100. Okay, $100. And are there any, like, um, for example, if I keep that daily balance of, like, $4,000, am I waiving any, like, um, monthly fees with that balance or anything like that? Yeah, if you maintain the 4000 you avoid the monthly fee of $5. Okay, and is it FDIC insured? Yeah. Awesome. And is it like a regular savings account where I can only take out like um, maybe like six times a, a month or is it like more like um, whenever I want I can take money out? It's limited to six withdrawals or transfers out per month. Okay, awesome, awesome. All right. And you said the, the, the normal savings is um 1.16%, is that correct? The yield, yeah. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. I'm going to pass this on to my boss and let him know so we can actually have like some better options, okay? Okay. All right, thank you so much. We really appreciate your help. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so I found out that whenever I call in, I say, like, my name is Philip. By the way, you can comment down below if you want me to say any different names. But the main point is, when I say, like, I'm, I'm Philip, and, you know, I'm calling in on behalf of my boss, people have been sent to be, like, a little bit more nicer. So, there you go. 2.02%, um, $4,000. I think this one is pretty great. I'm not going to lie to you guys. 4000 bucks. no crazy fees. You waive the balances. You waive everything with this $4,000. And it's not like, you know, ASUS where you need to keep in like $5,000 to get 1.06%. For what reason? I don't know. But 4000 bucks, 2.02%, FDIC insured. I don't know. They also answered the entire phone like super quick. So, so far, I'm pretty happy with this one. So, again, it's kind of between this one and the MVSK bank, which is pretty awesome also. But this one... 2.02% and no catch just at like the $4,000 it's not really that expensive if you ask me because again it's a business account so you should have some business flow and if you have less than $4,000 you shouldn't be saving you should be taking that money and investing it and multiplying it for your business so there you go now number five is actually capital one business account now the reason is the last one is because they just offer a promotional rate of 2%. Once the 12 months have passed, which is basically one year, well, it goes down to 0.40%. Now tell me, why would you offer this one as the last one, the best one, over, you know, the internet bank, the first one apparently? Well, the reason is because this one is more locked in for these 12 months, which I really appreciate because again, the Fed rates they go up, they go down. I think they meet like every like like four times a year. So you never know what's gonna happen. But for right now, I really like the idea of like, hey, you're locked in for 12 months on this two percent, which is pretty awesome, okay? And if anything changes where they go up like super high, well, I just switch my money around and put it somewhere else. But for right now, I appreciate being locked in at two percent and not you know fluctuating all the time because the other ones they do fluctuate and on top of that all you need to actually get started with this account is like 250 dollars and to waive all the fees well you just need 300 dollars which is pretty awesome again asus bank okay offers 1.06 percent and you need what is it, like like two thousand five hundred dollars to actually waive everything well this one is only three hundred dollars with everything and it offers two percent for 12 months so that's why capital one is the last one on my list but if you ask me tell me which one are you gonna pick well you let me know first comment down below and here's my pick right now okay if you ask me i would probably go with the first internet bank i really like the customer service she was very helpful and on top of that 2.02 percent four thousand dollars a business account sounds like a really good deal to me now on top of that guys just to clarify here if you do want an ATM card well you do need to be a sole proprietor and a lot of people aren't that because again you want to make sure you are protected when it comes to liability wise on top of that if you ask me guys I'll probably get a mixture of Capital One and also the first bank that way I get that 2.02 percent but also just in case it fluctuates I have my Capital One with 12 months locked in at 2%. That way I'm more secure with everything. So that's my answer. A mixture of both of them just in case anything happens out there. Comment down below and let me know do you think that's a good idea or not. Let me know in the comments down below. And guys, as always, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, subscribe right now. Thank you, thank you so much. And if you want to do one-on-one, -on -one, uno uno, just DM me on Instagram at Tommy Bryson. And before I go, if you want to watch a video based on the top savings accounts in the entire market for personal use, well, click this video right here. And if you want to subscribe to the channel right now, 
and hit the notification bell while I click this entire like face right here. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching and peace.